Oh, here is my digital weighing scale and we are going to be using the split for your digital weighing scale you must weigh your bowl i'm using a light bowl preferably because the digital weighing scale is very very sensitive now this bowl is weighing 116 grams so what i'm going to do now now i'm going to add one kg of flour so now there's a little mathematics here you're going to say 116 gram plus 1000 gram which is the same thing as one kg of flour so it's going to give us 1116 gram so we're going to be adding our flow now into the bowl until we get 1116 gram if this is your first time of stopping by my channel you're so welcome if you have been here before good to have you here if you haven't subscribed to debbie's kitchen do subscribe for more yummy recipe baking tips and tricks that will be of help to you now we have 116 grams so now we are going to now find out how many cups of flour are in one kg of flour so now this is my bowl. I'm going to set another bowl aside and I'm going to be using 250 ml cup to measure. I don't know if you can see it here. This is 250 ml cup. So now this is how you measure using your cup. If you do not have a weighing scale, you fill your cup to the brim. Then you level it up. You can use a knife or use anything flat just to level it. Then we turn it into the bowl. So you are going to be counting with me now. So this is one. We are adding now more into the bowl. Now we are now going on number two now. I just scooped my cup into, I just scooped my floor into the cup and I'm going to level it now to get, um, to find out how many cups of floor we have in this. So this is two. We're counting. You can see the number on the screen. Now we are going now to the third cup. Now I decided to use the back of my spoon because I felt it does it faster and it does it better. So this is number three. Make sure that your cup is flat. Flat as in it should be flat that it fills just the top of the cup, not excesses remaining. If not, your measuring will not be um, accurate. So now this is four cups now. This is four cups of flour. We are still measuring. We are finding out how many cups of flour we are going to find out at the end of the day. So this is four. This is the fifth cup. This is five. And let's see, do we have up to six scoop in this? Let's see how it goes. So the, the floor in the bowl is not so much again. So I had to scoop using my spatula to make sure I fill my cup to the brim so that I would have a, an appropriate measurement for my six scoop. Oh, we have six, six cups. So this is number six. Now this is six cup. Now you're looking at the floor remaining in the bowl, you find out that it is not up to one cup so i'm just going to scoop it into my cup to find out how many it is is it up to half cup is it quarter cup let's find out so i'm going to make sure that i scoop all of the cup so that none of it is remaining into the cup and i'm going to just hit my bowl as in i'm going to hit it you can see what i'm doing i made sure that all of it and this is half cup so for one kg of flour you have six and a half cups now if you are in nigeria you find out that for one thousand gram or one kg of flour you should have more than six cup but for the uk when we divide it is about 115 gram per cup for the average if you divide 1000 by 6.5 you will get 150 gram in the average now on the average uk all purpose flour it should be between 150 to 155 grams, depending on how well you measure, in the sense that if you do not flatten your floor properly on your cup using your spatula, you may get around 150, 150 to 153 to 155. So an average is 153 grams. But if you are in Nigeria, you'll find out that your cup of flour will give you between 120 to 125 grams, meaning for one kg of flour, you should get like eight cups or more. That means UK flour weighs more than Nigerian flour because it contains more protein. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I don't know if these tips have been your help. Do like, share, and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Good to have you here.